is an AWS code pipeline pipeline has implemented a code release process. The pipeline is integrated with AWS code deploy to deploy versions of an application to multiple Amazon EC2 instances for each code pipeline stage. During a recent deployment, the pipeline failed due to a code deploy issue. The DevOps team wants to improve monitoring and notifications during deployment to decrease resolution times. What should the DevOps engineer do to create notifications when issues are discovered? A. Implement AWS CloudWatch logs for code pipeline and code deploy. Create an AWS config rule to evaluate code deployment issues, and create an Amazon SNS topic to notify stakeholders of deployment issues. B. Implement AWS CloudWatch events for code pipeline and code deploy. Create an AWS Lambda function to evaluate code deployment issues, and create an Amazon SNS topic to notify stakeholders of deployment issues. C. Implement AWS CloudTrail to record code pipeline and code deploy API call information. Create an AWS Lambda function to evaluate code deployment issues, and create an Amazon SNS topic to notify stakeholders of deployment issues. D. Implement AWS CloudWatch events for code pipeline and code deploy. Create an Amazon Inspector Assessment Target to evaluate code deployment issues, and create an Amazon SNS topic to notify stakeholders of deployment issues. Correct answer is B. Next question is. A company runs an application on Amazon EC2 instances behind an application load balancer. The instances run in an Amazon EC2 auto-scaling group across multiple availability zones in US East 1. The application stores data in an Amazon RDS MySQL Multi-AZDB instance. A DevOps engineer wants to modify the current solution and create a hot standby of the environment in another region to minimize downtime if a problem occurs in US East 1. Which combination of steps should the DevOps engineer take to meet these requirements? Choose 3. A. Add a health check to the Amazon Route 53 alias record to evaluate the health of the primary region. Use AWS Lambda, configured with an Amazon CloudWatch events trigger, to promote the Amazon RDS read replica in the disaster recovery region. B. Create a new application load balancer and Amazon EC2 auto scaling group in the disaster recovery region. C. Extend the current Amazon EC2 auto scaling group to the subnets in the disaster recovery region. D. Enable multi region failover for the RDS configuration for the database instance. E. Deploy a read replica of the RDS instance in the disaster recovery region. F. Create an AWS Lambda function to evaluate the health of the primary region. If it fails, modify the Amazon Route 53 record to point at the disaster recovery region and promote the RDS read replica. Correct answer is A, B and E. Next question is, a DevOps engineer needs to design and implement a backup mechanism for Amazon EFS. The engineer is given the following requirements. The backup should run on schedule. The backup should be stopped if the backup window expires. The backup should be stopped if the backup completes before the backup window. The backup logs should be retained for further analysis. The design should support highly available and fault-tolerant paradigms. Administrators should be notified with backup metadata. Which design will meet these requirements? 
A use AWS Lambda with an Amazon CloudWatch events rule for scheduling the start slash stop of backup activity. Run backup scripts on Amazon EC2 in an auto scaling group. Use auto scaling lifecycle hooks and the SSM run command on EC2 for uploading backup logs to Amazon S3. Use Amazon SNS to notify administrators with backup activity metadata. B. Use Amazon SWF with an Amazon CloudWatch events rule for scheduling the start slash stop of backup activity. Run backup scripts on Amazon EC2 in an auto scaling group. Use auto scaling lifecycle hooks and the SSM run command on EC2 for uploading backup logs to Amazon Redshift. Use CloudWatch alarms to notify administrators with backup activity metadata. See use AWS data pipeline with an Amazon CloudWatch events rule for scheduling the start slash stop of backup activity. Run backup scripts on Amazon EC2 in a single availability zone. Use auto scaling lifecycle hooks and the SSM run command on EC2 for uploading the backup logs to Amazon RDS. Use Amazon SNS to notify administrators with backup activity metadata. D. Use AWS code pipeline with an Amazon CloudWatch events rule for scheduling the start slash stop of backup activity. Run backup scripts on Amazon EC2 in a single availability zone. Use auto scaling lifecycle hooks and the SSM run command on Amazon EC2 for uploading backup logs to Amazon S3. Use Amazon SES to notify admins with backup activity metadata. Correct answer is A.